here we go then we are back with a strategy guide i know it's been a couple of weeks but we are ready raring to go and hopefully you are too because we're going to release the strategy guide ready for your qualifying round from this week's gp event i hope you are all doing well and one of the questions that i want to know first of all to show you're watching what did you think of the norris and verstappen battle who was in the wrong let me know down below but it's good that it's getting a little bit exciting in f1 but hopefully exciting on f1 clash we didn't make the final round last week it is extremely tough out there but hopefully with some good sprints we can compete this weekend now we have got the british grand prix there isn't a british driver because of the event it is going in a routine sort of order what hutch have created it's not an origin so Ocon is the boosted driver, 10% on epics, rares and commons with curva and pivot all 10% boosted. So on Wednesday, make sure to go and have a look to see if they suit you nicely. Swad tracks, have we got to come as well? That's going to be one of the interesting ones. And make sure as well, if you didn't know, entry fees are now reduced. So in champions, it was 150, it's million. It's now down to 18 million. In Contender, it's now down just to 2.5 from 7.5. Challenger, 225 grand. And for anyone entering Junior, it has increased up to 25,000. So make sure to check that up. Can you race higher? This could be the week. Double rewards as well. Double rewards. So make sure you get through to final round. Qualifying that we're going to focus on. Silverstone, Spa in the wet, Vegas and Barcelona for this qualifying session. Now we have got a new strategy map, courteous of our good, good team member James putting in the hours to be able to provide you with some amazing track maps. So he's going to notice a little bit different. No need for me to say any more what boosts, I'm going to give you them all. It's going to be nice and easy. So let's get into your qualifying guys track maps and let's head over to the strategy area in our video. So here we go. Welcome into the strategy area. Little bit of different, little bit funky. Until I get a green screen, this is the best you are absolutely going to get. So strategy area, we're talking tactics. And we're going to start off with Silverstone, which is dry. And there's no extreme heat this week either. So here it is. Here is the new look over to our right strategy guide that we're going to be following. So yes, it has changed. Some of the big differences, no more driver one, driver two, basically either way. Now we've got driver one, driver two, but champ and contender, challenger and junior. So no more P1 to P12, P13 to P24. We're going to change it out. We're going to go champ and contender, challenger and junior to try and give you that rough guide of what you can follow. Now, Silverstone is tyre management and power unit. That is the ones that you want to focus on for your car. Power unit setup, tyre management drivers. That is what you do need. Now, from the front, or if we now call it champions and contender, you should be able to run a free soft four medium and a four medium free soft. You're not far off doing four softs, but that is the comfortable strategy. That will see you through with champions and contender. Now remember, you are using drivers with good tyre management and potentially the boost that will come on to later that you could as well go ahead and use. In Challenger and Junior, a little bit different then. We have got the two stops in there with a two soft, two soft, free medium and the free medium, two soft, two soft. Now, if you don't like the two stop, you could switch. You could do a free medium four hard four hard, free medium. See how you get on. There's plenty of time to qualify, plenty of racing to come, and that could be one that you go ahead and use. Now, we don't have to worry about the wet strategies. You can see in the very top right of the corner where you attack in red, where you go on medium in yellow, and where you conserve in blue. But the new addition, right down the bottom, where we get my fingers going, right down here, We've got a table, and this is now reflecting the boosts that are available to you to give you more clarity on the boosts that you can use. So highlighted, the stars are pretty much the two best boosts around here, 
and you can see time management 20 power unit 25 total of 45 points in relation to the track stats is butterfly so one of the best boosts second best then you have got pretzel with 20 time management and 15 power unit making that 35 we have got frost in there at 35 points too 25 time management 10 power unit and on the right hand side of all these boosts down below you can see what the alternative is so if you want a bit of race start you might be taking probably frost gonna be your best bet but really good now you can really see what you need to use and that is a beautiful track map for you to be able to look at so on to race number two it is 100 percent 100 percent wet is the call for our track of spa then so welcome to spa and just need to focus on the wet strategies so for champions and contender everybody is going to pit on lap number three so we're pretty content with you doing a free wet free wet as well we're going to find that there's not too many chances to do a two stop from the front so a free wet free wet is good for me it's good for you challenger and junior now you are going to find the wet racing a little bit more tricky around spa now you could take a tire management boost that is possible but there's not too many great ones out there so we do recommend a two stop if you are in the lower series we've got the 222 and the 231 now if you can't do three laps you're going to have to do both drivers a 222 and you're going to have to try and manage the gap but it is a little bit more difficult in these wet conditions spa circuit top right you can see the trap map you want to come out the first corner in attacking mode go to medium down the straight at the top of a rouge you want to be conserving <laughs> and the rest is history you can see where it's good to attack and where it's good to conserve best boost then the one that's going to give us the most track stat points is street shark because the track stats are race start and speed so we've got the race start and speed boosts street shark is the best closely followed by firework in your second one with rainbow and timeless in there as well so hopefully you've got a few of them and they are really going to help you come good in spa We've had this one quite a bit recently and I think Hutch are making the most of it being available to us and we are off to Las Vegas for the race start and speed track stat circuit. Quite a boring one but quite an easy one as well. So this is where our little bit of change of strategy can come in. Now if you've got some good time management drivers you can run free soft free soft in champions and contender. If you don't know by all means take the free medium free medium very easy you will be absolutely fine on that one challenger and junior free medium free medium now you might find free medium in challenger or even junior is a little bit tough you do have the option to go ahead and take free hard free hard two stops not really great round here so if you are concerned about the mediums go for the hard it just depends on what tire management drivers you are using now down below we can see the boost table and we can see that Street Shark again is our best one because it provides us with 25 race start and 15 speed. Total of 40 points coming from a boost. Your next best is looking like it's going to be Firework in there as well. Rainbow Timeless, both good to use. Same as Spa, pretty much. Right hand side of the screen you can see the trap map. You've got the conserving down the straight and you've got the attacking in the corners. But a good track. Don't lose hope on this circuit because even if you're quite far behind, you can lap so much quicker than everybody else. And then finally, we are off to Barcelona and Spain. So tyre management and cornering this time to make sure you change your strategies, your car setup and your drivers. Cornering setup required tyre management drivers. So we're going to look at doing a free soft, free soft, free soft in champions and contender with also a four soft, five medium. We've got then from the challenger and junior, the free soft, free soft, free soft again. And we've got the five hard, four medium. Now, if you are going to go ahead and take a tire boost like Saar or Nazar, you could potentially run five medium, four medium. And it is possible to do four softs, but you're going to need good tire management. So in the lower series, Challenger and Junior, probably recommend a 5 medium, 4 medium, take Saar or Nazar. So 
You can see down the boost, you've got that Sar and Nazar, 40 and 30 points in total for the track stats. We've also got in there Movember, but obviously it's giving us a bit of defending, whereas Nazar gives us that race start, which is going to be very good for you as well. Downforce and self-control available as well. Now in the very top right hand screen, you can see two places to conserve your power unit in blue. And then the rest of the track, you can pretty much attack at Spain. Very nice track. The race start is crucial. You can get a really good race start in Barcelona. So you want to be pushing for pretty much the whole first lap where you can. And then use the rest of the race to gain that power unit. And then attack a gain. So that is your strategy guide. Our new look track maps, our new look setup. And hopefully... That is going to make you score some good points in this qualifying session. As always, let me know down below who did you think was at fault at the weekend. Max Verstappen, Orlando Norris. Very interested to see. I'm, I've got the McLaren shirt on. I'm not going to make any controversial decisions at this point, though. I'm going to let you and read your comments to see how controversial they are. But good luck in your qualifying. And if you're watching today, remember, we will be live tonight. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. And we'll see you on Friday for the next strategy guide.